guys welcome back to the channel it's Shay thanks so much for tuning in for another video if you guys are new here as always welcome to my channel where we do videos on beauty nursing and lifestyle and if you're back you probably already know what kind of video we're about to do because you guys are all up in this space and today I've even used a white background just to enhance the fact that we're going to be doing makeup so you guys know V-Day is coming up I love Valentine's Day it's one of my favorite holidays so being as though it's almost my one year anniversary here to on YouTube, I wanted to kind of recreate another Valentine's Day look since that was one of my first videos on here. I'm not going to get too sentimental in this video. I just want to get right into the makeup. So the purpose of this video is for you to take all your makeup, sit down, put me on your phone, your iPad, your computer screen, and let's just do makeup together. Um... I kind of wanted to make the eye look somewhat of a tutorial, but you guys know I'm not a perfectionist, and I'm just going to kind of walk you guys through it, along with still just a chit-chat along the way. We always um, try to use drugstore products. I know it's hard to try to be bougie on a budget, so I'm going to be bringing you guys all drugstore stuff in this tutorial today. So if you're interested, let's cut the chat and let's get straight to the video. Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into the eyes. I do have a drugstore palette for you today. I don't know if I've talked about this brand on my channel yet but I'm a big fan of it I have tons of their palettes it's affordable and the payoff of these palettes are amazing so they are the perfusion palettes and the one I'm using today is love struck so love struck has um tons of shades but is as we open this up you guys are going to see why I fell in love with it so the backstory is I originally planned to use one of my already old perfusion palettes I, like I said I have a bunch of them one day we're going to do a palette collection and everything like that but I stopped at Walmart last night after class and I seen this one sitting on the shelf and they also had a tester palette do you guys see these colors and you guys know what caught me that pink in the center and the name of the shade is called Queen so it's like everything I'm gonna be kind of trying to work with this center here this pinks um, they do have transition shades in here so that's what's nice about this palette too you also have enough where you can do everything with one palette you don't have to keep going back grabbing colors grabbing single shadows I'm a very like on the go type you guys know how I am I want to get everything done in one palette I don't want to have to be reaching back and forth for several palettes so overall these are great shades I know most of you guys probably thought I gravitated towards this rose gold shade I always do rose gold but we're gonna try to do something a little bit different spice it up with this little queen color so we'll go ahead and get started okay guys so first I'm gonna work on transition shades and when I work on transition shades I find that as brown women we tend to gravitate towards the chocolate browns but it's okay to use a chocolate brown but just make sure it's a soft brown I even found myself making the mistake sometimes I'm using too dark of a brown for a transition and then the look automatically becomes smoky so if you're like my tone try to go towards the soft subtle browns so I was looking at this one down here and then there's one in the top corner that I also was looking at I know the one in the top corner looks super light on camera but it is pretty like beige brown so I'm just going to I think I'm going to do a um let's try this one down here I think um it doesn't look too deep but let me just see how the payoff is on the brush so I originally wanted to make this kind of like a chit chat video um, for Valentine's Day but because I'm doing a tutorial I don't know how well that's gonna work you guys know I cannot talk and like do makeup it's just inevitable for me especially trying to explain all the products so what I'll do maybe is as I'm doing the eye look I can kind of run you guys tutorial style and then maybe doing the rest of the makeup I can kind of do like a little chit chat so the main thing of this video is just getting your makeup brushes you're getting ready for Valentine's Day whatever you're doing whether you're single in a relationship just going on a casual date whatever you're doing grab your makeup brushes and just sit down with me that's the point of this video Video. so as you guys can see this brown is um, a little bit softer it does have some dark undertones but it's enough to where it's almost matching my skin tone if not just maybe one or two shades darker those deep ones if you're brown skin stay away from them because like I said they will make your look turn into smoky when you're trying to do something else so I already have that on the lid I'm gonna go up and take a little bit of this just to see if it'll kind of bring it more to a neutral and make sure you're getting these shadows blended out so I really don't like what kind of brush is this I'm using a perfusions brush right now their brushes are okay but I have better brushes for blending like um this is a Sedona 
lace brush I've had this for a while but another good drugstore one I can tell you guys about is the wet n wild blending brush so let me actually use that right now to blend out with this color on the lid yeah you guys see how much better it's just like distributing the color throughout the lid so just make sure a lot of eyeshadow has to do with making sure you have the proper brushes okay guys so looking back at the palette i think the next shade i'm going to go for this i wanted to use but it has shimmer so i'm looking at between this pink and this i'm trying to decide which one i think I need something that's a little bit settling and this is kind of scaring me a little bit but in reality this with this is going to be a good combo and this is matte so I'm going to go ahead and try this pink first and see how it lays on the lid so for those type of shades I try to use something that's going to pack a little bit more so right now I'm using a Morphe R41 and if we see it doesn't work we'll just go in and go to the next brush um so eyeshadow for me is a lot of trial and error guys especially like this bright color you see right now is scaring the heck out of me so we're gonna I'm gonna start in the middle and then I'm gonna work my way out and then I'll come back in your first motion when you're getting color shadows on should be a packing motion um, don't start blending until you get that color on the lid because if you start blending you're not gonna have no color and I learned that like first I was like oh my god it's all about blending and then once I started like I would instantly put the shadows on and start blending and it would be looking crazy because I would have no color or it would be a very faded color now you guys see how good the pigment of these shadows are and their drugstore like this is everything so don't fear, we're going to blend it out, but I'm just going to move to the next lid. Because this area I have less space to work with, I will let it fade out a little bit towards the center. And that's why I always do like the inside of my lid last. Okay guys, so I know I'm looking kind of crazy right now because it's not blended out. Fear not, worry not, we were going to blend it. I just wanted to get that color on there good. Um, so I'm going to just only blend the outside edges for now. Just until I get my next color on here. And you want to just do it like in a tapping motion blending. Because I don't want to spread it all up over here. That's another common mistake I make with my eyeshadows that I'm learning. I start like going crazy and then it's just all over my lid. So... Okay guys, so the next shade we're going to play with is this shade right here next to that glitter pink. So I'm going to start putting that on the outside of my lid and kind of blending it with the pink to give it kind of like an ombre look and then we're going to go in with our glitter next. I'm going to pick up another Morphe brush similar to my other one but this is an M321 and we're just going to dip it in here. I'm not going to spray the brush because I don't want it to be like crazy bright, vibrant. I just want it to give me that color on the outside same packing motion now see as I start doing that scratching motion guys it starts getting above like my crease and my lid so I'm just packing right now to like the center because I want the middle to stay kind of that like pinkish and I'm gonna go ahead and move to the other eye and do the same thing but I feel like this is kind of like my signature like I'm usually using two to three shades. I'm doing a lighter shade in the like middle and my base for my lid. I do an outside darker color whether it be like something black or just something darker in that shade range. And then if I use glitter I go in and I kind of like not I try not to cut the crease as much as I used to. But it's kind of like of a ratchet cut crease in a way is how I will apply my glitter. Okay guys, I feel like that is good. So we're going to go ahead and just blend those two. And then we will start with our glitter. So I'm blending enough just to get it, one, with the transition shade, two, with that other color that I put on the lid so it kind of looks like they're all together. Okay guys, so we're going to get busy with glitter now. I know the nerve-wracking moment. So this one in the center, Queen with a K, is what we're about to use. Um, I'm going to use that same brush I used to originally pack that um, bright pink on. 
um, to also help me with this. So a tip for glitter shadows, especially if they're in the palette, spray your brush before you pick up the glitter because the ones in the palettes, um, because they're not single glitters, they're a little bit more, you have to do a little bit more to get them packed on. Profusions is actually a really good palette and this is how I know they're also good. Um, sometimes I don't have to spray my brush for the glitters but just for the sake of the tutorial and just so you guys have a tip at hand we are going to do it. This one is like a really pigmented glitter though. I'm kind of, this actually shook me for this palette so I'm very excited. And we're going to try our best not to be messy. So I'm going to start because I have the most surface area in the center. Packing it on. But the glitters are a lot, depending on what kind of glitter it is, it's a lot about the brush. See how better that looks with my finger? So sometimes when I see it works better with a finger, it's telling me that I need some type of brush kind of like this. Or like the one that's round at the top like that. So let me just say, ah, uh, see that guys? That is the brush we needed. I feel like the one with the round top though, like this, would work the best. And it's okay to be messy. We're going to clean it up later. That's why you have foundation and all that other stuff at hand. Okay guys, so this eye's not looking horrible, but our next eye is our chance to redeem ourselves. That's why you have two eyes. So we're going to start with that brush that I said would be better. Of course, like I said, a round top like this brush I think would work perfect for packing it on. Mine is in the other room, unfortunately, so I don't want to um, stop the tutorial just to go grab it. I'm lazy. So we're going to show you how you can improvise. So I sprayed this brush. I'm going to dip it in this glitter again. And I can see this one is like moving around all in the pot. So it is ready to be like... See how much better that applies with this brush because it's more of a, it's helping you pack it better. And we went a little bit more in because we went in a little bit more with that other eye to about here. Okay guys, so this is how we're looking so far, real crazy. Just be careful with your eyes and this glitter. Um, I'm pretty sure because it's in the palette, it's approved for eyes, but I've just been very cautious because I have contacts. So we're going to go back to a blending brush, and I'm just going to begin to kind of like blend in between where the glitter meets that other shadow, just so it just looks like it's like seamless. Same thing on this eye. And then I'm going to take the blending brush, clean it off a little bit. I'm going to go above to kind of help me clean up that area. Kind of just a little bit of a like sweeping away motion. Just be careful you're not spreading glitter all on like the outside of that lid. I'm going to take the other blending brush that I have. And I'm going to go into that neutral color a little bit with the brown. And just go above that a little bit just to kind of get that. See how it cleans up the top of your lid and it also gives you a more blending space if that makes sense to you guys and you will feel that glitter because it's a hard glitter on this don't be alarmed now see be careful because some glitter is trying to go up here and I really don't want that glitter in that space so as I'm blending I kind of try to sweep away that space too that's where that concealer from your eyebrow kind of helps in a way also and I think I want a little bit more of this deep purple I know you guys are like are you done yet girl it take you this long to do your eyes I just want a little bit more here Okay guys, so we are completed with the eye look. When you have glitter like this, it kind of gets all over the place. That's the beauty of doing your eyes before your foundation. Sometimes I will take a wipe, being careful not to kind of take off the primer I've already put on my face, and I'll go around the bottom of my eyes, along with dabbing it at the top to kind of assist with that. Additionally, what I'll do is sometimes I'll blend down my eye um, brow 
concealer a little bit more just to clean up this area but overall as we finish the makeup you guys will see that it will all come together hey guys this year in our valentine's day makeup tutorial i have split the eye tutorial and the main tutorial into two videos for easier viewing for you guys so if you're interested in seeing the rest of this look that i'm displaying here please tune in to the next video that will be linked above and also in the description box below thanks again and don't forget to subscribe